Hi, this is Benjamin McJohnson. Brief video on why you should let your foes live. In most tread fantasy RPGs, PCs quickly rack up an extremely high and bloody kill count. Mostly because many of these games reward murdering your foes. But you should consider sparing their lives instead. After all, they're still beat. And the definition of getting your XPs in those games is defeating your foes. Not killing them, defeating. So, a bruised, battered, and not terribly conscious enemy is still a defeated enemy. So you're still getting your experience points there if you're playing that sort of trad game. But there are other benefits. The first is that you get a reputation for showing mercy. You get recognised as being someone who will let someone go, who will spare their life. And this is very useful for that time when you get beat. If you have a reputation as a bloodthirsty maniac, then don't look terribly upset at your GM if your enemies kill you too when you're down. If, however, you are known to be someone who spare people's lives, then though when your, when your enemies beat you, you will probably get the same treatment in return. So it is worth it for just that benefit alone. But there are other benefits. Defeated enemies who can live can tell you about their ransom. They can, or If they are rich, then they can be ransomed back. They can, you have heard the phrase, a king's ransom. This, in some cases, was a chest full of gold. Big chest. Gold coins were originally very small things. So that's an awful lot of gold coins for letting, them, for letting someone live. They can tell you that often you've got to keep their arms and equipment. And if you haven't actually put the killing blow in, it's probably a little more intact. And so you get to loot more. And I'm sure you trad gamers are very interested in looting. So letting someone live might just make the loot a little more intact and more lootable. Enemies or defeated enemies who live are also full of knowledge. Defeated mages, defeated wizards will all have access to spells, they will have access to magics, they will teach you things. In fact, most defeated foes can, te can probably teach you something. And often this is a very good reward. If you let someone live, they will teach you how to use the yellow string thong thing of doom. So it is worth it for that. Of course, be careful, because being bad guys, they probably know dark arts, and picking up too many dark arts well, that can always be an interesting character arc, but another form of things you can get from them is knowledge. You also get information from the feet of people. People who know you are merciful are more likely to talk to you. They're more likely to be friendly. They may even ally with you. If you are fighting mercenaries and you beat them, well, they're beat. And now you can offer them a job. They can be on your side. You have not merely defeated your enemy, you have strengthened your cause as well. You can turn defeated enemies to your side. You can convince them of the superiority of your philosophical position, of your reasoning. You are right because you ha and you have shown that you're that you are right because you have beaten them. You have defeated them. Your philosophy, your way of life is obviously superior. Why don't you join? Why don't they join your side? And hopefully, some of them will. And so again, you have made your cause stronger and your enemy's side weaker at the same time. This is a better result than simply making your enemy's side weaker. And other things you can do with defeated enemies, you can... Yes, you can ask them for things. You can ask them, once you've got a dead enemy, well, they can help you, they can give you information, they can tell you about that thing. You can't get any of that out of a dead person. So hopefully those are a few reasons why you should let your enemies live. Of course, most of this advice is probably null and void if you're a necromancer, and you can probably talk to them anyway. You probably want to get them to that state as soon as possible. Thank you.